I'm here today to talk about what we need to be doing in April in the central part of the country. I'm talking West Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Southern Ohio, places like that. Right now, you're getting good warm weather, decently warm. Your bees are flying. They're bringing in a lot of pollen. They're bringing in a lot of nectar. They are probably already starting swarm preparation if you haven't done anything yet. You need to make sure that you've, you're ready for this and you don't let your bees swarm. When your bees swarm, you're going to lose 60%, maybe more of your colony, especially those young bees, which are going to be the ones bringing in that nectar when the flow really gets underway. We don't want to lose those bees. So my suggestion is have your equipment ready if you need to get extra equipment, another hive kit, or a nuke box, pull a nuke off that strong colony. But what we want to do is we want to break those bees down, give them some drawn comb for what we pull out of there, take a uh, significant amount of maybe cap brood and the nurse bees, put them in that nuke or that new hive, put a queen in there. If you have a lot of drones and the weather looks like it's going to be good two weeks out, let them make a queen. They can raise one for you. You don't have to buy one. That's up to you. But it's critical this time of year that we do those splits before they start swarm preparation. Now, if we have to feed, if you're going to have a week or two of bad weather, you may need to feed them some sort of syrup, whether it be a commercial syrup or a sugar water mixture, and you may want to give them a pollen patty. They go through a lot of pollen and a lot of nectar when they start, when that queen really gears up and starts laying eggs. So we, want, we don't want them to ever run out of those two things. That cuts back on a reared, brood rearing. So we want to keep that going. Um, once you've done that, you've got them weakened to the point where they're not going to swarm. And when I say that, I tend to break them down to about five frames of brood in what I call the mother colony uh, when the dandelions start to bloom. That usually prevents that swarm and they just get built up in time for that major nectar flow and you maximize your honey production. That's the way to think about it. If you break them down too late, they've already started swarm preparations and you've got other things you need to do. Or if you, if you break them up too early before they have that good brood nest built and they have nice warm weather where they could keep that brood warm, that sets your hive back. So it's a timing thing. So I encourage you, get in your hive, check the status of them. What do they look like? How's the brood nest? How's the queen laying? And then you make your decisions from there. Again, make sure you've got your equipment ahead of time because when they decide they're going to build up quickly and you don't have your stuff, you're behind the eight ball. We always want to be out in front of what our bees are doing. So that's what I would do this time of year. And you know, get them all set up, get those honey supers on, and let's make some honey.